So let's talk about the 11 grants that you can leverage for your business today. I'll even touch on what the grant loan amount is, what their eligibility criteria are, and where you can find even more grants in the future. So let's get started. You know, me doing this research, it was crazy to me how many grants were actually out there and available that a lot of people don't even know about. There's literally grants for all these different specific functions and types of businesses that even this video and me showing you these amount of grants, it makes even more sense for you to deep dive even further and look for grants that might fit your specific type of business even better. So in jumping into it, guys, the first grant's gonna be from the Small Business Innovation Research Program, okay? This program offers the best federal small business grants for tech companies. Now, for that reason, you're gonna see that this program is highly competitive, okay? And it's looking to provide funding for you know small businesses that qualify and they're that are looking to engage in technological research and innovation. That sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> now, when it comes to the grant amounts, they're giving anywhere from $150,000 to $1 million. In terms of their eligibility requirements, they want to make sure that one, you're a for-profit business. So, you know, you're out there trying to make some money and you have less than 500 employees. Also, they want the majority ownership of the company to be held by one or more of these following combinations. Either one or more of the individuals are citizens or permanent residents. Two, it's owned by another for-profit business. Or three, it's a venture capital operating company, hedge fund, or private equity firm. So for most people, it's you're more likely gonna qualify by just being a US citizen or being a permanent resident. Now, grant number two is gonna be the US Economic Development Administration's programs. Now, this is the US uh, EDA, as they call it, and they're offering the best state small business grant for innovation, okay? Now, EDA grants are gonna be state level funded, so that means that the states receive the money and they're the ones who are gonna actually award it to the small businesses in their area. And they're, of course, gonna to wanna to prioritize entrepreneurship and innovation to be able to stimulate economic growth in that area. So if you're running a business that's looking to stimulate actual economic growth in your specific area, be that the city, the state, then this is gonna be the perfect grant for you. Now, when it comes to grant amounts, it's gonna vary depending on what the actual grant is, right? This is actually a you know an agency in the US government, so they're offering an assortment of different grants. What I'll do is I'll link to all these uh, grant companies or all these different grants that I talk about down below in the description so you can take a look at them and be able to click through and see if there's any grants, especially for the EDA, that actually fit the criteria that you're looking for. Now, again, when it comes to eligibility, you're gonna see that it's gonna vary depending on the actual grants. Uh, I'd recommend that you be sure to read the requirements carefully before you even think about uh, applying, right? You're gonna see with these grants that it can be pretty tedious when it comes to actually completing them, uh, just because these loans are gonna be processed through the grants.gov website, okay? So you're gonna see that, one, you need to go to grants.gov, set up an account, which I recommend everybody do because you, that's where you can see all the government grants that are available in one area. Now, if you're interested, let me know if you'd like me to shoot a video breaking down how you actually search through the grants.gov uh, website and what I've done to be able to actually track down uh, grants that would be perfect or fit with my business. Now, grant number three is gonna be the FedEx Small Business Grant Contest. Now, this is a program FedEx does every year. Pretty much, uh, you know, in their words, they're trying to offer the best corporate small business grant for growth, okay? So pretty much the way it works is they're gonna be offering $25,000 grant to 12 qualified applicants, as well as additional services each year through their actual small business grant contest. Now, the reason that I'm bringing it up to you guys now is because it is done yearly. So what you wanna do is you wanna either set a reminder or add something to your calendar to make sure that you go to the FedEx grant page do at the beginning of the year to see when exactly they're gonna be launching the program again. Now, the crazy thing is this year, they actually created three grand prize winners who got $50,000 and $4,000 in print and business services at the FedEx office. Okay. Seven were also first place winners who got $20,000 and $1,500 in print and business services. And lastly, they chose one winner who was selected from five different categories. And I'll throw the categories up here on the side so you can take a look at them. And each of these guys got $10,000 and $500 in print services. Now, when it comes to eligibility criteria, there's tons of different criteria. The main ones are gonna be, you know, you have to be have been in business for at least six months. You need to have a valid FedEx shipping account number. So since, you know, there's still a little bit of time before it gets started again, I recommend you already start doing these following these different steps okay so go ahead and set up a valid fedex shipping account number you know you want to make sure that you have a shipping and printing need for your business okay so if you're shipping out uh, products then this could be a perfect fit for you make sure that you don't have uh, more than 99 employees and obviously you cannot be a competitor of fedex so if you over here trying to start a shipping company and you should think that they're gonna give you a loan it ain't gonna play out like that okay so make sure that you're not competing in them in, competing with them in any way Alrighty, so grant number four is gonna be the Amber Grant. And this is gonna be best for small businesses that are women owned, okay? So this is awarded monthly. 
with one of the monthly winners receiving additional funding annually as well. OK, so the grant amount is going to be twenty five thousand dollars every single month. So you can apply month after month and the businesses need to be at least 50 percent women owned. OK, and you need to be U.S. or Canada based. So if you are a woman owned founder or you have a women owned business, I recommend that you check that this out. This will be one of the first grants that you look into. It's great because it's literally you can apply month after month. So every single month you can keep reapplying to be able to get approved for this grant. All right, so grant number five is gonna be the Minority Business Development Agencies Grant, okay? So this agency is actually part of the Department of Commerce and they offer the best small business grants for minorities, okay? Now the MBDA it currently is offering three ongoing grants for minority owned businesses, but again, it's, it's always gonna vary and it kind of changes. So I recommend you just check it out. Uh, I'll link to it down below and you can actually go to the grants.gov website to actually see it as well, right? So grant amounts are gonna vary. You're gonna see eligibility is typically gonna be, you know, they want you to at least be minority owned business and uh, it's possible that they might also want you to have a, a project geared towards minority owned businesses. So maybe you're, you're you're doing like community outreach where, you know, you want to get more minorities to start businesses or you want to walk them through how to start businesses, things like that. That's something that you might be able to get funding for, whether you are a minority or not. So be sure you check out the grants.gov uh, website and there's going to be actual section of uh, filtering criteria that you can use to make sure that you're just filtering for these specific types of grants. Now, grant number six is going to be the National Association for the Self-Employed. OK, now they have something called Growth Grant, which is, offers the best business grants for startups. Now, NASI provides grants for established startups that are actually seeking funding to take their business to the next level. You're going to see the grant amounts are going to be a little smaller. This one's actually going to be four thousand dollars. And the real only eligibility requirement is that you need to be a member of NASI. Now, the two easiest ways that I found to qualify is one, either becoming a gold member, which is forty five dollars a month or having their standard monthly membership, which is $11.95 a month, but you need to actually hold that membership for 90 days. Now, grant number seven is gonna be the Micro Enterprise Development Program. Now, this is actually part of the Health and Human Services Office of Refugee Resettlement, okay? And they're offering the best small business grants for refugees. Now, the way these grants, and they actually offer loans as well, the way these work is they're available to refugees who are looking to start a business or support their existing business. So the grant amounts are going to vary. And this is, again, going to be on uh, grant.gov where you can be able to see all these loans. Now, you're going to see that the grant amounts are going to vary uh, just depending on what grants are available at the time that you're looking at it. And they're typically the eligibility is they're going to prioritize applicants who are refugees who came into America in the last five years. Now, grant number eight is going to be the online foundation directory by Candid. OK, so this is actually a pretty interesting find, you know, Pretty much what's going on here is they are compiling all the information on grants that you can get from over 240,000 foundations. OK, now, unfortunately, for you to be able to get a comprehensive list or be able to access all the data, you actually have to pay for a membership. Now, the membership is as low as forty nine ninety nine. So to me, I found that it's still worth it, especially if you're able to see all the grants available from uh, different foundations in the world in one place. The next grant is going to be the U.S. Small Business Administration State Trade Expansion Program, or STEP for short. Now, this is going to be geared towards businesses who are looking to enter or expand into international markets. Uh, to me, it looks like the SBA pretty much is allocating those funds to state governments who are then going to pass it on to you, the business. Now, these grant amounts are actually going to vary, but the eligibility requirements are usually just going to be for small businesses who are saying that they're looking to enter, enter into international markets that they haven't been in before. OK, so if you're already in a market, you want to make sure that you check the criteria for that loan because it's quite possible that you might have disqualified yourself. Now, grant number 10 is going to be the 2022 Small Business Growth Fund by Hello Alice. Now, this is a partnership through Hello Alice and MasterCard to provide up to $5,000 in grants. And so the eligibility requirements is they want you to be a for profit business and you need to have less than one million dollars in revenue for 2021. They also want you to have, you know, a commitment to your customers and your community and have a clear plan for what you're actually going to use the funds for. So this is going to be a smaller grant amount, but I think it's still worth the trouble. So I'll link to it down below so you can check that out as well. Now, I will be talking on another way for you to get funding for your business besides grants. But before we do that, let me talk on the last grant that we have. So grant number 11 is going to be the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Dream Big Award. Now, this grant amount is going to be twenty five thousand dollars. And when it comes to eligibility, they're looking for for profit businesses who have operated for at least a year, primarily in the U.S. Now, they want to see that you have less than 250 employees or a gross revenue that's less than 20 million for 
both 2021 and 2022. Now, they actually have award categories. So they're not just giving out one tranche of 25,000. They're actually giving it out based off of different categories, which I'll throw up right here for you guys to be able to see. And they say that businesses can apply for up to two of the categories that are available. So these are some of the top business grant resources that I found for anyone who's looking to grow their business. Now, if you're interested in how you can actually get access to capital through something called crowdfunding, I will actually link to a video right here where I break down how you can do crowdfunding to be able to get even more access to capital for your business. So be sure you check out that video there. Now, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Be sure you throw a like on this video if you found this information valuable. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos as well. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.